I'm done. <laughs> We're here today to um, to do some practical learning for year two, adding and subtracting tens. And then we're going to have a little look at what Gabriel's doing in EYFS, where we're going to do some adding and subtracting and collecting the teddies as we go. So we'll have a little look at what Noah's doing first, and then we'll look at Gabriel's. Go on, you cheeky monkey. Okay, you go sit over there, Gabriel, for your activity, and we'll be with you in a few minutes. And Noah, do you want to have a look at yours? So for Noah today, we're going to be using some base 10 equipment. Uh, we're going to be focusing on the 10s and the 1s. If you haven't got base 10 equipment at home, that doesn't matter. You can use Lego bricks, you can make rods with the Lego bricks, and you can use the individual Lego bricks as ones. You can also use cut-up bits of straw as well, or you can physically draw the base 10. You can draw lines and dots as well. So Noah... Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do some adding and subtracting tens today. So, using the place value chart, which is split up into our hundreds, tens, and ones, I would like you using the base 10 to make the number 46. Can you make the number 46? Okay, so we're making the number 46. Have we got them, Noah? So where do they go? They go in our ones, don't they? Okay, so Noah, for the number 46, how many tens do we have? Four. We have four tens, don't we? How many ones do we have? Six. Six, don't we? Super duper. Now we're going to add ten. We're going to add 10 to 46, so we're going to do the calculation, 46 add 10. So what do you need to get? We're adding 10. Okay, we need to get... We need to get another 10, don't we? So 46 add 10, what does that make? 56. 56, good boy. Which column changed? Which column is that? The 10. Which column didn't change? The ones. The ones. So when we added tens, the ones didn't change, did it? Mm -hmm. Okay. This time, I want you to make the number um, 51. 51. Quick as you can. Good. Good boy. So how many tens have we got? Five. How many ones have we got? One. One. So we've got 51, haven't we? This time, I want you to take away a 10. What are you going to do now? Good boy. Taking 10 away. So 51. 41. Take away 10 makes 41. Which column changed? This. The tens. The tens column. Ones the, same. the ones column stayed the same, so we're only affecting the tens column, isn't it? Now we're going to look at another practical way now, but we're going to add multiples of 10 as well. We're going to add 20 and 30 and take away 20 and 30 as well. Now to do that, morning Nicola, to do that I've made a spinner. Now this spinner is split up into eight sections. And it's got add 10, take away 10, add 20, take away 20, add 30, take away 30. Obviously, you could add more multiples as well. I was just conscious that I didn't want to create an exchange at the moment and go over into the hundreds. Now, to make this, I've just stuck a pencil through the centre of the card and I've put a little bit of blue tack underneath because the spinner started slipping up and down the more and more it's been used. So that's our spinner. If you don't make a spinner, you could also... Um, use just some cards that you turn over that have minus 10, uh, add 10, uh, add 20, subtract 20. So you could have that instead. And we've also got some cards here as well with different numbers written on different two digit numbers. So, Noah, could you clear our place value chart, please? And I want you to, I'm just going to shuffle them up a little bit, pick one of the numbers. So pick any one of them. Which one are you going for? Not 93. Turn it the right way around. Or 60. 
63. So, using our base 10, can you make 63? Using base 10, so that's our number. So how many 10s will we need now? Or a 6. We'll need 6, won't we? Now the numbers I've written down on these cards, I've deliberately made sure that on the spinner, Noah will be able to add and subtract 10s. None of the numbers would go into minus figures. I've been very conscious of that. Now we've got 60, haven't we? But not number are we making? 60. So what do we need? What do we need? Three ones, super. So you're gonna spin the spinner now. Give it a spin. Right, let's have a look. What? Oh, go on then, give it another spin. Right, let's have a look what it landed on. So it's landed on here. So what are we going to do, Noah? Minus 10. Subtract 10. So 63, take away 10, equals 53. Good boy. Choose another card from here. We'll do one more. And then we'll have a look at what Gabriel's doing with his adding and subtracting and collecting teddies. So pick any card, Noah. What card have you gone for? 83. No, turn it the right way around. 38. 38, good boy. So make 38 with your base 10. Quick as you can. Good boy. So we've got 38 there, haven't we? Give your spinner a spin. Give your spinner a spin. Let's have a look. Oh, let's spin it again so it lands on a different multiple. Right, this time... 30, aren't we? We're adding 30, aren't we? So, we're going to add 30 to this. Good boy. So, 38, add 30, gives you what? 60. Eight. 68, good boy, super duper. So what column is the only column that changes? Only the tens column every time. Every time. Now then, Noah, if, if I had 10 tens in this column, yeah. so if I had 10 tens in here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, mm -hmm. 7, 8, 9, 10, if I had 10 tens, am I allowed 10 tens in that column? Uh, no. No, what would I exchange those 10 tens for? Uh, one ten. Not one ten. Let's count them. 10. 10 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So we'd exchange them, wouldn't we? For one of those. But what would we have to do with all these now? Bye bye. We'd have to take them away. So if your child does get to numbers that go into the hundreds, just make sure that you do do exchanges. So Noah, I'd like you to keep going with this now, picking numbers, using your spinner, and could you write your number sentences that you do on the whiteboard? And we'll have a look at what Gabriel's doing. Yeah. Yeah? Now, yeah, should we go over here, Gabriel? <laughs> so Gabriel is going to be doing some adding and subtracting. Hello. We've got written down some number sentences. Hang on a minute, Gabriel. Pasta. And we've got some pasta, haven't we? We've got a bowl of pasta to help Gabriel count. And we've also got our teddies over here. Now I've written yeah, on the teddies. I've written on the teddies different numbers, just using post-its. And Gabriel is going to work out the number sentence. And then he's going to collect the teddy with the correct answer. So which one of these, Gabriel, do you want to do first? You can pick five. any. So what does it say? It says five yeah. add one. Five add one. one. So get your five out. The so you keep counting. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Good. And how many more do we need? One. One. So get another one out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Which teddy has got number six on? Have you got it? 
There we go, we've collected one teddy. So let's put our teddy there and we'll put our number <laughs> sentence next to him. So this time, Gabriel, let's put our pasta away. I want you to pick a takeaway. Can you pick one of these takeaways at this side? Uh, one, eight, one, one. So 11 takeaway one. You want to do this one, yeah? yeah so really how good. many pieces of pasta are we going to have to get out? Um, I don't know. Do 11, 11, good boy. Go on then, count 11 out. So how many have we got so far? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Keep going. So five. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 11, good boy. Now this time we're taking away. So we're not going to want to get any more bits of pasta out of the bowl, are we? No. How many are we taking um, away from 11? How many are we taking away? One. Just one. So can you take away one piece of pasta? And put it back in the bowl. Daddy. Put it back in the bowl so we don't muddle it up. Right, can you count how many bits of pasta we've got now? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Eleven. Take away one equals ten. Go find the teddy. Yes. Oh, it's dinosaur. a big dinosaur that's got the number ten. So we'll put it there <laughs> with our number sentence. So we're just showing how the number sentence can be laid out with the answer after our equal sign. We'll do one more, Gabriel. Which one do you want to do? You pick. You can do an add or a take away. It's up to you. Two equals two. Two add two equals. So can you get out the pasta to do this one? One, two. One, two. Good boy. Can you count how much you've got all together? So we're getting in that language there as well of all together. We'll You'll put them together closely. That's a good idea. Four. So can we complete our number sentence? Can you go find the teddy with the number four on? My rabbit. Your rabbit has number four on. So we've got addition, we've got subtraction and we've got number recognition as well. So those are our activities for today. You can still do it, of course. Boys, do you want to come and say bye-bye on the camera? Bye-bye. We'll bye, see bye. you tomorrow. Bye. Where we'll be doing lots more activities. If you head over to classroomsecrets.co.uk where you can check out our timetable where we've got lots more <laughs> practical <laughs> ideas and resources. Bye-bye. <laughs>